Um, and now we're going to go ahead and open up MA3D, open the MA3D program. I need to resize my window real quick. So for me, I'm gonna place my 3D um, visualizer window, MA3D, in this little blank spot that I have at the bottom of my screen. Um, you can place it wherever you would like. This is just how I'm gonna be doing it and what works best for me. Um, for this step though, I'm gonna go ahead and make it big because I need to see other parts of this window. So this is our visualizer. We need to do the same process for this visualizer, get it on the right IP address so that it can talk to the software, to the other on PC software. Um, so if you have a, a box here, if you have any other boxes in this view open, go ahead and close them all. So there might be some boxes open up over here or down here at the bottom. Just go ahead and close them so that you have a full screen of your stage here. Um, and we need to go then to the view tab. And you'll come down here and find sessions window. We're gonna open up the sessions window. So just click on it. Again, under view sessions window, click there and it'll open up our sessions box here at the bottom. Now mine is already on the right IP address because I've already set it up. And so I'm seeing my console down here or the, the other software, the PC software. You're probably not gonna see that yet. And your IP address is probably gonna be a 192 or a 168 IP address. Um, so we're gonna come right here where it says own IP address in the sessions window and click on it. And then I'll open up a pop-up uh, where we can select a different IP address. So we're gonna click on the drop down, and you're just gonna find 127.0.0.1. All right, once we select that, we're gonna click OK. Close that window. And again, we need to close the program and reopen it for that setting to take effect. So we'll just simply close 3D. Um, you don't have to save here. This, the show file for the 3D um, is stored within the MA2's um, show file. So they're connected one show file between the two of them. So we don't have to save it directly to MA3D. So we'll just say no. And then we'll reopen the program. Okay, and if we did it right, um, you should now see for own IP address, 127.0.0.1. And you should see your session, your console down here, which would be your name, session ID 1. All right, so if we did that and you're good there, you can go ahead and close the sessions window. And then I'm gonna resize. My window, all right, cool. Now in, um, in the 3D window, you're gonna see here that it's got this broken heart that's flashing and then you see FPS and you'll see mine is up at like 170. Yours is probably gonna be bouncing around between five and less than one frames per second if you're on VMware. So that is the lag. I'm actually doing this on a Mac trash can tower. So um, that's running boot camp, so it's not an issue, but um, that's where you're gonna look here and see whether you're okay or not. Your frames per second, you need at least 15 to do it somewhat right um, and fast. So if you're down at five or less than one, which is more, most common, then you know it's just gonna it's gonna drag, it's gonna lag here in the window, unfortunately. So please, if you're able to take advantage of some of these extra times to come on campus, because the visualizers there will be very fast and will and will show you it, whether you're making a mistake or not, and just give you more practice on actually how it looks. 
All right. Um, so we've got these two things set correctly with our IP addresses. Um, but we still have the broken heart, which is telling me that this is not in session. It's, it's by itself. It's standalone right now. So I need to add it into the session. So for that, we're going to come back into our MA on PC program. If you didn't close the setup window, um, it should still be open somewhere. If not, hit the setup button to reopen it. And then we're going to go to the second tab down here on the mast on the network side that says MA network configuration. So MA network control is where we go for sessions um, creation and, and stuff. MA network configuration is where we go to add in other devices into our session or to control them. So once we open that, we see we're in a screen here with uh, tabs at the top again. So these are the different types of items we can add into the session. We see our consoles here. Um, we don't have any physical consoles connected, so we don't see anything. If we go to on PC, you'll see your, your computer is in here. Um, processing units, we're going to go to 3D because we want to add a, three, a 3D program. So it's blank right now. We don't see anything. Um, we're going to come down here and hit this Add Present button, which will look for any 3D programs that are available on the same network. So if we hit that, we should see it's adding in our, our program down here. It'll add a line here. Okay, a couple more steps to get these two connected. We need to select a user, so we're gonna just right click in these cells. Any of these cells um, on the console, if we right click in it, it will give us options for entering information. We're gonna select the administrator. And then we see here the session member box is blank. Uh, we need to right click there and then it will display yes. So right click in there, see the yes, wait a second, and all the programs should um, start loading into each other and connecting. And then this should turn green. So we're gonna right click there, it says yes, wait for it. It was very fast um, because there's really no show here yet. The show file is, is very tiny. Um, but you'll see now that um, it's turned green here. And in our 3D program, we have the flashing green heart, which means we're connected.